Hey, what is up, guys? It's King Scott here, and welcome to episode 71 of Variety Let's Play. And I'm level 81, which is amazing because Acroloth is a great place to grind. But today, I have a quest for you guys. It is the Assassin Quest. So, after repeating the quest about four times total, including the one I filmed, I have finally succeeded this stat roll. But uh, some helpful people commented, like Citrus Panda, um, some other people I forgot. But. Uh, they, they recommend that uh, I max out my dexterity because a lot of the assassin quest requires a crap ton of a dexterity. So I'm I decided to go back to my old build, which is to uh, max out both luck and dexterity, prioritize them, basically. So I'm going to up my dexterity all the way up to a hundred, and then start to spread out the rest of the stat points. So that is that will be my build for temporarily at least until I get to 100 dexterity. But hopefully, uh, once once I have 100 dexterity, that should be enough to you know succeed on most of the uh, uh, the assassin stuffs. Because 100 dexterity translates into plus 20 on most stat rolls, uh, which is amazing. But here we go. What's this guy? He's an assassin trainee. This assassin couldn't hack it. Prove to Wallow and she that you can. Oh yeah. And by the way guys, I also haven't bought the assassin army yet. But I will do that very shortly. Once I finish this quest, I guess. So let's see here. Bam, bam. Look at that. Our, uh, which one was this called? Our Lord's Tenure is amazing. But let's see. Look, look at our stats, guys. See, uh, 200 luck. 40 on all stats, 45 on dexterity, pretty good, making great progress. See guys, I, I've reached level 81 in like, I don't know, one, two months all now, I think. I think I made my first video in like uh, April, like mid-April I guess, so that's two months, or late April, I'm not sure. Made it uh, once summer started. Wait, actually that's, when did my summer start? Oh no, 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 not April, I'm, I'm, I'm retarded. April is the fourth month, so um, two months ago should be around uh, May, like the end of May, that's when I started making videos. So yeah, come a long way since then, 70, 71 episodes and really close, getting close to 100, guys. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for the support that you've been giving me so far. Getting a few new subscribers for the user, uh, Stress Panda, uh, Carmen, this uh, Yuji Valencia, you know? So uh, thank you all. I really appreciate you watching my videos. And it really, really makes me happy how, you know, content that I make, like, in my room somewhere, like, it gets views, you know? Like, so some people have hundreds of thousands of views, and but with this, there's time and place for revealing yourself, even to cause fear. The point is to kill them. Okay. I am in, but yeah, I got dual apparently. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, what I wanted to say was, yeah, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for supporting. And some people, some people say, uh, uh, some people have like hundreds of thousands of views, as I was saying. But you know, I get like ten. But when you think about it, ten. Like you are one. Like, ten people. And people willing to watch your content. That's actually that's actually a good amount. When you think about it, you know? um, so what's the good side of it? Let's try that. And yeah, ten people actually isn't that little at all. Like ten people is like half my health it's like my entire health class. Like back in my summer school days. So actually quite a lot of people and I got uh, equipment finally and let's see here thank you for my generous contributions all right for sand class and I also uh, saw the quest to do the dragon stone quest I believe that's on dragon stone and it got updated recently so you know that's cool that's really cool near the entrance of Strelling Desert okay dragon sword this is uh, shop. You see, uh, there's some new. Whoa! Ice, light, and dark, and water dragon. 
this should help me greatly with uh, fighting the, the Akulov. So I'm probably just gonna buy like two of these. But holy crap, like, these are uh, new proteins. That's water. A little free. So I'm not, I'm obvious I'm not gonna buy the new token things. Um, these are not high level. Well, let's actually, I wanna try. I want to try some of the uh, drag tokens. So I'm gonna buy the ice. I'm gonna buy the ice dragon trail. Ice dragon killer. Ice Dragon Blade. Okay, I'm um, gonna try that. So maybe I'll do the Dragon Slayer quest a little later, but uh, but let's see though. Let's, let's try and fight uh, Mr. What do you call it? Mr. Uh, Akalok with this new crew. So, thank you for those who recommended this, but whoops, uh, before we start, I, I think I have like eight weapons in my inventory already, so I shall switch the ordering a bit. And by the way, I can buy more than uh, 7 increments for a total of... I can buy up to, like, I can have up to 10 weapons or 10 anything in my inventory because I have a house. So yeah, buy buy a house if you want extra equipment. Don't do that. Don't, don't fail like Mr. Shush kind of. You fail hardcore. But let's see here. Uh, let's... Well... Let's see. We're not really using... Our shinobi armor anymore, so let's go back. And let's uh, weapons. Let's move. Actually, got an ice blade, it's right there. So yeah, I'm gonna try out the ice blade against Akbar and I'll be back once I meet Akbar. So if you're enjoying this video so far, remember to like and comment and subscribe for more content. I'll be back when I'm fighting. And I am back guys with the Whispering Raiment, which is the Assassin Armor, and also our Guardian Ice Blade. So I researched a little bit off camera, and I calculated some uh, stuff, and apparently the Guardian Blade uh, becomes stronger if I'm fighting against dragons or dragonkin. And against a fire element, this, my, uh... Ice, my Guardian Ice Blade against a Fire Dragon, which is Aquiloth, it will do 125% damage. And although its base and random is lower than uh, my uh, Ice Weapon, which is my current Ice Weapon, which is like Acridge, yeah, uh, it does slightly more damage. But uh, the weapon does 125% on everything, like it adds damage to everything that I attack. So even my dual wield for my assassin armor. And dual wield is a really cool um, skill. Uh, it's basically if you dual wield, you can select one of these eight. Each one is a different element. I chose, I just now was Wakizashi, which is the water one. Uh, I'll pick the ice one. Let's see. Uh, uh -huh, no, no. The ice one is Ninjato. Yeah, chill. And basically when I'm dual wielding, my normal attacks deal a little bit less damage, it's like for now it's like 60% of normal damage. But my, this, like the dual wield weapon is actually really strong, it's stronger than, it's like ten, does 10 damage more than my normal weapons. And also has extra stat bonuses, like, um, see right here, oh no not this one, this is the ice blade, like look at this, it was 125% base random, this is the garden ice blade. But yeah, I researched a bit on the assassin armor as well, and the damage is pretty good, pretty good. But I think it's about the same as my overlord armor, uh, so I will still stick to my overlord armor, obviously, for fighting the Akroloth, because it has way better fire resistance. But maybe once I'm a level 10 assassin, this armor will be much better than it is now. So anyway guys, I'm going to switch over to Lord's Tenure, because it is very good. And by the way guys, if you didn't know yet, uh, with the Lord's Tenure, you can actually click on the helm and the cape to uh, dismantle it. But you can put it back on by clicking right here in the icons below. So you click on the icons below there, and it'll equip back on. 
But see right just now I did two lucky strikes in a row which did quite a lot of damage, you know. A uh, lucky strike is still still OP. But yeah. Uh -huh. I really have nothing to say. So I'll be back when Acroloth comes, I guess. So yeah, I will be back once Acroloth comes. Uh, if I can pause the recording. And hopefully I should she doesn't mess up as it did once again in a previous episode where it doesn't record the image. But hopefully it doesn't do it at this time. So yeah, I'll be back. And I am back here against Ultra Acroloth. See, the thing with Acroloth is sometimes on this account I can win, but sometimes I can't. Actually, I've only fought him three times so far and I lost one. But that was because I didn't uh, get my potions. But this time I have 10 potions. So I should be able to own Acroloth. But uh, I think I, come up with, I came up with a decent strategy. I'm gonna just use my normal attacks and uh, keep going until my health is low and then use potions and just keep sustaining <coughs> <coughs> and the reason behind that is I want to just keep sustaining and bring out the heavy damage once uh, Nerf Kitten has nerfed him uh, to the maximum which is four times which will lower his melee and stuff to zero and his fire ice resistance up to like 240 percent which will allow me to do a crap ton of damage uh, with my ice spells and stuff. So I'm just gonna wait him out, wait until my nerf kitten keeps nerfing him, and just keep normal attacking. By the way, look at that. The damage is really, really great with this ice weapon because it is a Dragon Slayer weapon, obviously. Unfortunately, though, unlike the normal dragon weapon, uh, I can't, I can't uh, weaken him. Like, I can't poison him and shit. But uh, that brings me to maybe I should become a Dragon Slayer. Yeah, maybe I should actually train a lot uh, as a Dragon Slayer because the Dragon Slayer should do a lot of damage to dragons. Yeah, so I'll become a Dragon Slayer maybe. Um, as like train Dragon Slayer as I train Assassin, which will be great. You know, I'll be able to beat Akaloth easily probably. Uh, but I also want to do the uh, AQ 10th anniversary quest, which I never got to finish. I've only reached uh, Draconan, I think, so far. So yeah, I'm, I want to actually do the AQ 10th anniversary quest and, you know, be, uh, just finish it. Finish what I started, you know. And another great thing with Akerloth is he doesn't always use his Fire Breath spell. I think I said this before, but, you know, that's really great. Because if he uses Fire Breath spell all the time, I could probably lose. If he uses Claw spell all the time, I can win, like, for sure. But let's see here. See, look at that. His melee range and magic's down to 11 now. Wait, 11? Huh. Am I using my Kitten King or am I using my level 80 nerf Kitten? I'm not sure because it should nerf him more than this. I think... I think I'm. That's it. I'm using my kitten king. I should be using my nerf kitten, which is the higher level version, which nerfs him way more. So I switched over to that now, and let's see, chilling Jack Frost. Actually, that's that's an ice spell that I got from the uh, Sinister Seven quest, which is pretty great actually. So I'm gonna use it. See, look at that. Very nice damage. Uh, Jack Frost in the box, I think is what it's called. Got it for a Sinister Seven quest. And also, uh, some people commented on my video and said that the Draconus Helm is actually really great for energy resistance. Uh, also in the Sinister 7 quest, as well as Sila's Staff will uh, enhance my spell's damage. So I probably should have bought those when uh, originally when I finished the Sinister 7 quest. But you know, I was a derp and I didn't bought by the spells and weapons so you know I mean the misc and the weapon so I'll probably do it uh, sometime today or tomorrow and I will have better equipment but let's see here see Acroloth is dying with this account I, I, I with this character I would need lots of health potions but on my uh, mage account 
or on my uh, level 80, level 90 now, level 90 plus, 93 uh, from grinding Akaloth. That's my main kind of uh, character. I don't need pots, which is great. And by the way, if you're wondering, Aquella, you can get it from the Carnex quest, uh, which is which I showed in my mage in my video. You know where I've used my wizard to fight Aqualoth. I think it's called Wizard versus Aqualoth. Not sure. Video, but yeah, that's Aqu Aquella, Aquella, which deals decent uh, water damage. But let's see here. We need more potions. See, very nice sustain though. But come on, Nerf Kitten, you gotta nerf him one more time, Nerf. Nerfer, Nerf Kitten. Go, 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 Nerf! No Nerf? Aww. Dang it, I think I used my Kitten King to nerf too many times. So he's not that nerfy anymore. He can't be nerfed anymore. But let's switch over to Retro Twilly here, which will keep us, which will keep our health decently high and just keep normal attacking with this armor but whoa look at that 300 damage from my lucky strike but that's the thing though my lucky strike it does great damage but it doesn't happen too often I think I said this before uh, yeah yeah I said it before but you know it's okay cuz I will be upgrading my dexterity uh, from now on and once I have really high dexterity okay yeah, once I have really high dexterity, I will be able to uh, dodge lots of attacks, and you know, by by the time, by the by the time like I dodge those attacks, he won't damage me much, which will allow me to do my lucky strikes because it'll take lots of rounds. But just now, with my mom coming in, uh, and yeah, I have to go pretty soon to uh, this lesson thing. I mean, not lesson, my. Uh, martial arts. Yeah, I do martial arts. There's a martial arts uh, training session. But uh, yeah, we're almost killing Akroloth and GG. Go, 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 Akroloth. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Got nothing on Gangsta King's cock. Oh, owned, bro. Bam, bam. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really. Um, appreciate all the support that you guys give me so please if you like this video like it uh, show me that you support me and you know I love y'all so yeah also comment down and yeah thank you all for watching uh, have an awesome day something something and bye bye